Hi everyone, Jana is here and you're watching Card of Month video series. So for today's video I decided to use the new Bella Rose paper from First Edition. First Edition is a UK brand, you can find it in Europe and I think you should be able to find it in some stores in the United States, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, anyhow, it's a UK brand and I absolutely love their paper. So I will be using a few, uh, a couple of sheets of paper from this Bella Rose paper pad, uh, as well as uh, some of my favorite dyes from Spellbinder. So here I have some corners. These are gold corners one. I have uh, opulent ovals and I also have some uh, fancy border dyes. Uh, I will also be using some, uh, some cardstock. This is American Crafts textured cardstock and I've already pre-cut it and pre-scored it and uh, formed uh, an A2 top folding card so this is uh, four and a quarter by five and a half inches and uh, like I said before it's a top folding A2 card and I will be also using the same uh, textured cardstock the same gray textured cardstock from American Crafts to do some of my die cutting I I like to um, sort of like combine the papers that I'm using so if say uh, I were to use a white card base I would also use the same white cardstock to die cut some of the elements for my card but since I'm using this gray cardstock today I'm also going to be going to use the same gray cardstock to take out a few of the elements and as you can see here I've already pre-cut a few corners and one of those opulent ovals. Now I'm using one of the border dies from this from Spellbinders and this particular die has uh, not only cuts a fancy bracket border I think it's bra I think it's called bracket borders one but it also cuts some really nice uh, small holes that you can use for uh, stitching and I will show you that later on in my video. Now I, I not only wanted to cut uh, that bracket border on my pattern paper but I also wanted to uh, create like a decorative insert on my card base uh, but uh, in order to make sure or in order to properly select the die what I do is um, I sort of look at the other dies that I've picked for my card and I look at all of these like uh, I don't know fancy swirls or something and I try to match my dies as much as possible you know so they all look nice and I don't know pretty together. So here I've picked uh, another die from that bracket border set uh, from Spellbinders. I'm going to layer it or to place it on my card base and uh, I'm always using a piece of washi tape. You can use some painter's tape or low-tech tape to simply to adhere or to secure your die in place and make sure it doesn't shift while you're cutting. Now also notice that these dies they have sort of like these small indentations on them. When I first got them I thought that my dies um, you know that this was like a manufacturing error or something but <laughs> the thing is I didn't know what these little uh, marks or indentations were for. Uh, what they are for is they make it very easy to align the die on uh, on the A2 cards and on 5x7 cards. So basically these are super helpful if you're working on a standard card size. So you know just make sure to use them uh, to align with the edges of your card. So here I've already uh, die cut that decorative insert and you can see how uh, my my pattern paper looks on top of this die cut um, card base. Now uh, I also wanted to add some fancy flowers to my card and I looked through some other um, pattern papers through from this Bella, uh, excuse me, from this Bella Rose paper from first edition, I picked this uh, beautiful sheet and it has some gloss on it and it really shines very nicely and beautifully in the light. So I'm going to use another die from this opulent ovals set. And I'm going to die cut it uh, on uh, on my Artisan Explorer machine, and I'm going to layer this piece uh, on top of my card. Now, these dies, uh, these opulent oval dies from Spellbinders, uh, they are um, kind of unique dies. You know, they not only cut um, the element, but they also create a nice negative, um, you know, like special effect, I guess. So, you can see here that this particular die not only created that um, oval with the flowers but uh, it only uh, also added some nice effects to that negative piece of paper that I had there and I really liked that negative um, effect I guess uh, and I wanted to add that effect to my already pre-cut um, oval uh, out the one that I had cut out of um, that pattern paper from uh, from American Craft uh, that cards excuse me that cardstick from American Crafts so I'm going to add that oval uh, die to my already pre-cut cut oval and um, first create an embossing you know I I didn't want to cut 
um, that element out. So I thought I'd do the embossing first. Uh, it looked quite nice, but uh, not as nice as I had hoped. You know, I, I really wanted those little um, holes to be die cut, not only embossed. So then I did a little trick and um, I did like a partial die cutting and I'm going to, I'm actually showing it right now. So I placed my die on uh, on my paper and then I covered my, uh, I covered only like the top portion of the die. So first uh, I ran it through my machine and I had the top part of that uh, oval cut and now I'm switching it and cutting uh, the bottom part. So after I'm done uh, die cutting, I'm going to have a piece that is cut, uh, that is partially cut, but is also attached to my like a basic oval or like my base oval. You know, I didn't, I really didn't want to cut that piece out. You know, that's not, not, not that big of a deal. You know, you can cut it out, but I, I simply didn't want to. And uh, if, if you look closely, you can see that when you layer that piece, uh, that floral piece on top, you can't really tell that uh, that oval underneath was pre-cut you know so this is the nice part about it and uh, if you notice the photo at the beginning of my video you probably saw that I used different pattern paper for my card than the one that I had previously uh, selected so I went through um, that Bella Rose pattern uh, paper again that paper pad again and uh, I picked some other uh, papers that were a better match to uh, my card design and I pre-cut them and I added that uh, f fancy um, bracket border to the front por uh, the front portion of my card now I also liked uh, the negative parts um, from another die the one that I used to create that larger oval and um, I used that same die again on this pattern paper and I first again I first embossed it to create to add these like special effects to the background. It looked nice, but I still wanted to have a die cut. I didn't want just the embossing. I wanted to have uh, a die cut piece and I wanted to be able to see through all these little fancy holes. So I did that. I ran it through my, my, uh, my artisan floor machine again and uh, I die cut it. So now I have this front piece with a with a large hole in it, and what I'm doing right now is I'm using a needle and I'm uh, just uh, simply poking some holes. Well, not poking. I'm enlarging the holes that were already there. I'm going to add some uh, hand stitching, and uh, I wanted to make sure that the holes were large enough when I uh, when I sand my needle through them. So I did that, and uh, now I also added some double sided adhesive. This is some foam adhesive. You can use foam squares or foam tape uh, to the back of this paper, and I added. A lot of it because I didn't want um, you know any um, areas that would just band inwards sort of like that I'm not sure if I'm <laughs> saying it properly but I, I, I'm hoping you get the idea and I also added some uh, foam uh, adhesive to the other elements of my card and then I used the Clinton Helmuth um, multi-matte medium to adhere the um, these uh, gold corners to the top portion of my card now to embellish my card further or to add a sentiment I decked this little banner from the uh, banners set from Spellbinders and I added a little um, with love sentiment and this stamp is from um, Stampandos and the ink that I'm using is from Clear Snap. It's their uh, suede uh, dye color box ink. And I'm also going to use some foam tape once again to add that banner to uh, to my design to, to add more dimension. Notice that I also added uh, some pearls to my card. I always like adding pearls to cards like this. I think that they make uh, my cards look extra special, you know, and really fancy. You know, by, by just adding one or, or, or two pearls, you know, here and there, you are you should be able to make a really beautiful and um, I don't know, well, fancy comes to, comes to mind, a fancy card. So here my card is all nice and ready and uh, notice that I also added a piece of that same pattern paper to the back of my card just to make sure it looks nice on the front and on the back as well. So this finishes up my project for today. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and I thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please drop me a comment. If you're looking for a supply list of, uh, of uh, products that I use to make this card. You can find it in uh, the description below my video or on my blog. And uh, please uh, click uh, that like button, maybe drop me a comment, and please share this video with your crafty friends. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.